extensive our product. All this have happened in Soviet Russia. We, we didn't realize it. We didn't see it. 当时都是在呃俄罗斯这个苏联的话，不是只是我们世人不知道。Therefore, the collapse. I would rather say implosion, because the Soviet Empire imploded. So, this Russian, this Soviet, is collapsed. I'm saying this is an internal collapse. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. That came as a very big surprise to us. 如果说这个会说苏联会垮台的话，那当时他们就会把我抓起来了。So the important thing is that that we keep up the good work, but we also encourage those tendencies for democracy, for protests, and also for the rule of law in in communist China today. 所以我们就应该这个不断的就是加强我们这些工作，好的工作，这样呢给他们施加更大的压力，这样呢可以这个更多的有形式为更多的民主。I think that the uh, regime sort of regretted that they did actually take the Olympic Games because they got so much publicity that they didn't expect. And the uh, I would not say revolt, but the the demonstrations that were so toughly attacked by the regime in Tibet also made the focus on things that the regime did not want. In today's New York Times, I read that there were 55 people convicted now in Tibet. And of course, uh, the communist government ha have been trying to migrate uh, other people, other ethnic groups into Tibet as well as into other areas of, of communist China where there are ethnic groups or groups of people that are in opposition. 所以呢，共产党呢就把这些这个搞这些移民的一些活动，把一些呃其他的一些这个种族的人呢，都这个迁移到西藏或其他的地区，这个共产党就不喜欢或者有一些抗议示威的活动，他把这人呢，其他人呢迁移到那地方。The same thing have happened in the Soviet Union, where they moved people out of Baltic countries, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and they moved Russians in. 其实，在那个苏联，原苏联也是这样的情况，比如在那个立陶宛、爱沙尼亚、拉脱维亚，他们。That is actually a problem now that those countries are free countries, NATO members and members of the European Union. Now there are some problems. Today's Russia is not a communist state at all, but it's not a democracy. For example, in South Ossetia, the Russians handed out passports to people, and then came in and said, "Now we're going to protect our citizens." Now, in the North Ossetia region, they issued passports. I'm mentioning this because it's important that we all are aware what could happen when we have the transition in communist China. So, I'm saying these things so that everyone can know that in this region. 体制发生变动的时候，呃，苏联发生的情况，大陆也会有。It is very important that we encourage real democracy, rule of law, and human rights, and and all these three must exist together. 所以我们很重要要这个，呃，不断的提倡民主，呃，这个自由和法治，这样呢，这个是可以这个民主机制可以建设起来的，很重要。I should have started out by saying. Anyone who wants to comment or have a discussion, just raise your hand because this should be interactive. I will not stand here and lecture at nine o'clock in the evening for three hours. So I don't want to sit here for a few hours and talk about some communist issues. I hope everyone can raise their hand so that we can have a conversation. This is so important to me so I could speak for many hours. I, I was in Budapest just two weeks ago when they had the anniversary of the 1956 revolution. 
我这个几个星期前到在这个保加利亚的布达佩斯是纪念那一九五六年的那个活动，那个去参加那儿活动。And on Monday night I will fly to Prague. We made a Prague declaration in the spring on how to deal with the communist tendencies that still are uh, in Europe. 我星期一呢要去那个布拉格，呃，去纪念那个当时布拉格之春的宣言。Dr. Lee Edwards from, from Washington was with us. He was the one that actually took the initiative for the monument in Washington that was uh, inaugurated a year and a half ago uh, on the uh, victims of communism. It's on M Street, I think. Uh, Dr. Lee? Dr. Lee Edward Lee. New Jersey, Lee Edwards, Mass. sorry. Oh, Edward yeah. Lee. Edward Lee, he was the also, right? No, he, he was in Prague with me when we made the Prague Declaration, but he's also responsible for this monument. When in Washington at that time, I, I managed to give my uh, report on communism to President Bush. Now, fortunately enough, he handed it to one of his associates. <laughs> so it's probably saved somewhere there in Washington. <laughs> but in Prague on, on Tuesday, we will have a workshop and, and try to discuss what to do in order to promote the anti-communist when the Czech Republic will be the chairman of the European Union, which is not to be mixed up with the Council of Europe. So in the next two days, the president of the Czech Republic is the chairman of the European Union, but he is not the chairman of the European Union. Presently, France is president. Next is the Czech Republic, then it's Sweden. Uh, European Union? Yes, European Union. Uh, it's six months per country. So this is an important meeting in Prague on, on Tuesday. So I, I will only briefly be back in in my hometown before I go away again. So this is very important in the first time of Prague. So I cut off my time to return to the important meeting. So please, let's discuss and talk, unless you're too tired. So if you feel tired and don't want to hear it, then if you want to ask me a question, you can ask me a question. Yes, please. As you know, we just had an election here, a rather decisive election. Oh yeah, I heard about it.